What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to really perfect your Airbnb photography. I recently had one of the members of our BNB Inner Circle program uh, show me his listing after he followed our guidelines and improved his photography, followed our system, and he got a professional photographer to go in there and gave them the right guidance. And the photos turned out incredible. And what I wanna do in this video is walk you through and show you those incredible photos, but more so I really wanna take the time to point out and highlight some often overlooked things that make these photos so incredible good, right? Just really what makes them actually great. There's some small details that I find people often overlook or miss that really got nailed here. And so the end result is that you as a guest looking at this property really want to book it, but don't necessarily know why. So I want to point out some of the things that were done really, really well on this listing that cause you to really want to book it. So without further ado, let's jump in here and let's take a look. Here is the property. Now for anyone who's looking to have a great stay in Vermont, I highly recommend going and checking this out. Uh, you can see the uh, the property details here, the, the listing, uh, listing details here, and you can look it up for yourself. Uh, but let's just go through each one of these photos and I wanna point out what makes them really really, really stand out incredible. Right off the bat, we've got this photo of the living room that I think is exceptionally well done for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is really, really well lit. It's not overblown, super bright. Um, it's not too dim and dark. They shot it during daytime. There's light pouring in from this side and it just looks really, really nicely lit. Uh, another big one, number two, is that this fireplace, the amenity here is actually lit. It actually, it just showcases the amenity and it communicates to the guests that yes, this is an actual working fireplace that you can use. And it also obviously just creates this really nice ambiance in the photo. Now this is often something that you can do in post-production. You can have someone edit the fire in, so you don't necessarily have to have a fire actually burning when your photographer is there. And then another thing that they really nailed, and this is advice that I give everyone, is put the Netflix logo or a smart TV icon, something like that, up on the screen if you have a smart TV so that people, again, understand exactly what that amenity is. So now you know we're not just gonna go and have this great big TV that all we can watch is cable. Know that it's a smart TV, I can easily log in. Or if there's an HDMI cable, you wanna highlight that, whatever it is, so that people know that they can use that amenity in that way. A fourth thing that was done really, really well here was the uh, the captions. Now the captions are done really, really well throughout. So I'll highlight them on a few, but the captions do a really great job on every single photo. You'll notice that there are captions that answer guest questions, right? Um, it answers the questions that guests are gonna have before they need to book your property or want to book your property. And so answering those questions is a big part of what we wanna do with the photos. I always tell people there's kind of two main goals with the photos. One, you wanna help guests to envision themselves staying there. And two, you wanna answer any questions that they need answered before they feel like they can book the property. If you do that, then you're gonna actually get these photos to convert people into actual bookings for your property. So there's a few things that were done really, really well right off the bat in this photo. Uh, you can see another photo here. Again, same kind of thing. It's staged up with some books there. So you can imagine yourself sitting there and reading. Uh, you've just got a nice photo, nice and well lit good caption underneath it as well. Now, here's a really great photo of the kitchen. The reason I really like this photo of the kitchen specifically is it showcases a whole bunch of amenities, a whole bunch of countertop appliances, things like that. You didn't have these things tucked away into the drawers. I see a lot of people wanting to have their kitchen countertops be bare and the photos be nice and clean. And though it's nice to have clean countertops um, and have them not have anything on top of them, I understand the kind of OCD nature and some people wanting to have that. Um, it's way, way more valuable to guess that they see oh wow, they've got salt and pepper there, they have oil, they have a kettle, they've got the coffee maker, they've got all these amenities that I want to make sure I have at the place I'm staying at. Again, here does another great job showcasing that toaster that was kind of hidden behind there. Better look at the at the coffee maker. Same thing here, you're gonna see, again, you can uh, that you can accommodate a bunch of people. One of the things, the pieces of feedback that I gave the host of this property was in the caption, actually say how many people can comfortably sit 
at the at the dining room table and eat together, right? So that now if a guest if a guest is booking for a group of eight or nine people, they know exactly whether or not they can accommodate those people comfortably in the dining space and whether or not they can all eat together. But again, another nice shot that shows how the whole space ties together, where the kitchen is, the dining room, the living room, all of that fun stuff. So now moving on here, this is another one of my favorites in this whole photo shoot. Um, the dining table, you can see they have this one photo of just the table itself, but then they've got another one. It's evening time. It's more dimly lit. It really sets the mood. And in order to further set the mood, they've got wine, they've got a sparkling water, they've got a charcuterie board there. So, and, and then they've got place settings. So now guests can actually envision themselves staying at this place. They can envision themselves hanging out at dinner time. They've got the ski maps in the background there. You can see they also pulled this table out from the wall a bit and added those two extra chairs right to the table. So you can see, oh wow, it actually does accommodate a full six people, not just the four people that it looked like it did from this photo here. So you can see that all that's just done really, really well. You can showcase that you know we can actually accommodate more people in the dining room and you help the guests to envision themselves staying there. Now, coming upstairs, you can see um, one thing, just a, just a really, really clean, nicely made up room really nicely staged. The pillows are in the right spots. There's no wrinkles on the covers. It's all super, super nicely done. So it makes it really, really inviting. Makes me really want to stay here. Just as the property looking sharp, looking really great. Um, you can see here again, you've got a really nicely made up and done up bedroom. You've got this cool accent wall. They've done a beautiful job of, but again, the photography, it's just super well lit, really nicely staged. That's one thing again, that I see people making mistakes on pretty frequently is they don't do a 10 out of 10 job of staging their property and then no matter how good your photographer is you're either going to have a lot of work to do in post-production in order to really ramp these photos up and make them look nice and clean and tidy or your place is just never really going to look as good as it could because you just didn't do a great job of staging the property um, and then if we move on here now one thing i will say that has changed since i last looked at this uh, at this listing is that the host has gone in here and has uh has designated all the different rooms in the property which is why you see the photos show up in this order where it breaks them down to the different rooms. Now, I actually really highly recommend against doing this. The reason is it puts your photos into a kind of weird, unintuitive order. I don't love that it breaks it down into these different sections like this. It doesn't give me as a potential guest a good perspective of what it would be like to actually stay at this property. Um, it doesn't give me a good like kind of virtual walkthrough. And that's always what I recommend, especially when you have something like this, where you can see now there's additional photos and and you would really want to have this photo up with the bedroom, this other photo up with the bedroom, um, and you'd want to have these ones in the appropriate spots. So it's just organized in a weird way now that I would recommend against doing because it now just makes it awkward. It's harder for me as a guest to find the answers to my questions. So that's actually just a function of Airbnb that I don't recommend using. I recommend you just don't specify what rooms the photos are for so that you can dictate the order of the photos and virtually guide people through your, your property in a logical and intuitive way that makes sense, that kind of feels like they're being virtually toured through and that you don't leave one bedroom and then go to somewhere else and then jump back to that bedroom. You finish off the whole bedroom before moving on. Guys, just want to take a quick break here to say that for those of you watching who want to build cash flow and long term wealth by purchasing Airbnbs and short term rental properties, there's a link in the description right down below for a free training that will walk you through my exact strategy for investing successfully in Airbnbs. Now, if you're not ready to actually buy properties and you wanna get started managing other people's properties on Airbnb the same way I got started and build a full-time income managing other people's properties, there's actually another free training linked in the description down below as well that'll be a really great fit for you. So whether you wanna invest in short-term rental properties and actually build amazing cash flow and long-term wealth by acquiring the assets, buying the properties themselves, or you're looking to earn a full-time income managing other people's properties on Airbnb, we've got some awesome trainings that are linked in the description down below that'll definitely help you out. When you sign up for the trainings, we're also gonna send you a few other tools and resources completely for free just to help you get started. Again, the links to sign up are in the description down below and both trainings and all the tools are completely free. So make sure to register for the trainings, links in the description down below. So again, 
just really nicely staged, well lit, it's not dark, it's not dim, it, it has captions that show you everything. So that's just really, really nicely done. Uh, again, showing this amenity here, a lot of people just wouldn't even take a photo of this space, but it's just a great spot to be able to come out, enjoy coffee in the morning. And you can see this is even staged with a model, actually they're drinking coffee in the morning. Um, so that's just another really great small touch. Um, here again, just nice mood setting shot. Um, just really, again, paints a picture of staying there, nice and clean and crisp, nice and cozy. Um, this amenity just showing how quick and convenient and easy it's gonna be to get over to the ski hills, as that's gonna be a really big attraction or big reason why people are coming here. It's really important to have that highlighted in the photos and show just how close it is. Um, here again, another really great mood setting shot with that model. You can see another really great mood setting shot with the wine on the table. So again, this doesn't show you more of the space, but it does help you to envision yourself relaxing here after a day of skiing. Um, same thing here, really nice shot of the whole space. Um, and again, I wish these were kind of organized and batched a little bit differently. Like this one would have been great in the kitchen, but again, just having, just being able to showcase this amenity, really, really great. Same thing here, you got the picture. We're also opening up doors and showing what's behind them, right? Don't just say that you have a washer dryer, show it in the photos because a lot of people, when they're booking a property, if they don't see it in the photos, they're often just going to assume that it's not there. Um, and so although it's not a really beautiful, stunning photo, it is a really good photo for information communication, right? For just actually letting the guests know that you have that amenity. Um, same thing here, another nice mood setting shot. Um, here we go. This is another great one, just showcasing a, an in-demand amenity. A lot of people are gonna be looking for properties with a workstation, so showcasing it actually being used for working at the laptop there, like the model is, that's super helpful. And then I would even recommend going one step further than sharing about the fiber optic Wi-Fi and the comfortable workstation. I would even share the Wi-Fi speed, and I often will even include a photo in here of a speed test that I've run at the property to show how fast the Wi-Fi is. Um, and that's again really important for properties where people are going there to do kind of a, a staycation or a live work, that kind of thing. If they're gonna be working remotely, super important. Um, another really great shot here where you can again just showcase that in this bedroom here, you've actually got the smart TV that you can navigate all the different apps. That's really great to have as well. Um, and this photo also shows this other bed that's tucked away in the corner here. So that's super important. And then again, you'll just see all throughout the same kind of theme here. You've got this amenity, you're showing the amenity, it's actually pulled up. We're going in more detail, you're showing the gaming consoles that you've got. We're just answering every single question for guests. We're showing this futon actually being pulled out into a bed so that guests know that it can be used as a bed. We're just showcasing every single amenity so that no question is being left unanswered. And we're even just sharing here, okay, we are here, this is where the magic carpet is. This is the, the heavy lift to get up to the top. You can see exactly where you are relative to the ski hill. So all this stuff is just super, super clearly laid out. And we also shared some cool amenities nearby. Like you can see the lodge that's right nearby or at the base of the building, wherever it is. Um, and so again, all this is just super, super well done. Now, I will say like they've also done a really good job, a few other things like their listing description, but in this video, I specifically just wanted to highlight these photos and I wanted to point out some of the things that often get overlooked by a lot of hosts that these guys did really, really well. So kudos to them. And then I also want to just, sh just say, hey, look, if you watch this video and you got value from it, uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. If you got value from it, please take half a second and hit the like button down below this video. Uh, it really does help me out tremendously with growing this channel and getting these videos in front of more people. If you wanna learn how to host as successfully as this host is and really nail everything in your listing from your listing description, your headline, your pricing, your photography, and all your operations, and even learn more about like acquiring properties, analyzing them, figure out which properties are good and are not for short-term rental investing or for property management, check out the free trainings that are linked down in the description down below. We walk through everything step-by-step. -step. They're comprehensive free trainings that are really gonna help you out, so I highly recommend checking those out. And last but not least, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel here, make sure you take half a second and just hit that subscribe button. We post two new videos every single week here on the channel, helping you to become a better host as a short-term rental host, whether it's you're investing, whether you're managing other people's properties, whatever it might be, we post two new videos helping you succeed with short-term rentals. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those videos. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.